I'm getting ready for work. Uh, sorry about the way I look. But uh, I'd just like to say a couple of things. First of all, look, Jonathan, I got hair. I don't need to cover my head. Because I know what the scriptures do say about covering your head and teaching. And I want to challenge you on the second commandment being used in Genesis 1 and 2 when it was given in Exodus 20. I also would like you to answer how there's water about the deep and dark and it's frozen if you see Job 3830 in the universe surrounded by the Spirit of God before the creation story it started off as water where how did that get there and then we got Lucifer he fell and became Satan and then after a period of time there was no more room in heaven for Satan any longer and it was Satan in the Garden of Eden so time passed can you please explain this and there's some other things too and this is for uh, the solar child I think it is Revelation 11 11 when I am posting things to you it takes me quite a long time to put this together Okay, so if you have the least consideration that you're asking other people to, to do for you, then you would at least look at my videos and you would learn quite a bit because they're answering questions that you and many people are asking. So, the Trinity was forced, morning stars. Jesus is the morning star, all the rest are morning stars. Jesus is the bright and morning star, all the rest are morning stars. Why is this important? Because it's Jesus is in charge, given from the Father. And why is that important? Because that makes the, Jesus different from the Father, because the Father is outside the creation. Jesus is in the creation. Trinity is not in the Bible, just like flat earth. No. The word is going to be massively attacked now because that is World War III, the war of the word. And this is why it's so important to know what happened with Jonathan and myself. I can't tell the story and you believe me. Number one, they'll lock me up. Number two, I need witnesses and until years back you see what has happened as in my postings in Jonathan's videos 10 years ago did anybody read them they've been there for a little while and then they started missing but I had taken screenshots every time I did it so they are on hard drive and that's why my computers have been hacked because he's trying to get rid of this information. That's the Freemasons thing. They can destroy things so that you haven't got record of. Now, there's many things happening that if I say it out loud without in in attention of people, there's gonna be a problem and they win. So I need to get the attention. Okay, not for myself because I do not collect money. I do not do this in any way to better myself except for in the Word of God. So I ask for the challenges, but the same thing I told Jonathan no lying, and you need to use scripture because you cannot beat the Word of God. So I challenge you. I take an approach a different from other people because I have been built different and when I have a time to speak this will be brought out but until then I've been doing this for six years on the internet 
that means I got less than a hundred uh, followers per year. Something strange. And you'll learn about more of the things that have happened to me. Uh, for some st strange reasons. But you need to look at my videos because then you'll understand. I made them slow and I made them short. Why? For retention. Okay? It's about the adult learning process. An adult will say no right away because it's breaking its habit. When you wake them up from those habits, then they understand. And then you can wake them up for other information, to accept other things. But this, what the TV has done to us and what the schools have done to us, they have pulled the veil over our eyes. And they're holding it there, unless you have the scripture. So again, I challenge anybody that denies we are the not the fallen angels. And if this information is not sweet to the tongue and sour to the stomach, and if these books are not being opened, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. So I pray for you, sir. in Jesus' name.